Tonight we have the latest on the Afghan refugees starting to make their way to southern Arizona as they settle into new communities. The state bar is putting out a call to action for lawyers tonight. News for Tucson's Eric Fink joins us with the reason why. One refugee resettlement organization tells us up to 2,000 Afghan refugees are expected in Arizona over the next few months. The first few are now here in Tucson. Tonight, lawyers from all fields being called upon to help these refugees, many of whom will soon be seeking asylum. Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest CEO Connie Phillips says these refugees are coming to the United States under a humanitarian parole program. It allows temporary residents in the United States for a period of two years. So within those two years, everyone who comes under the Afghan parole program has to apply to adjust their status. The refugees will have to apply for asylum. It's why the head of the Arizona State Bar calls on lawyers and others with a law background to volunteer with the International Rescue Committee and organize clinics to help these refugees navigate the legal side of the asylum process. A lot of individuals need this help, and I think a lot of folks out there are willing to do so. It's just finding the right match and having it set up and structured in a way where you're not doing more harm than good. In a memorandum to the State Department earlier this month, the Biden administration said it would allow 125,000 refugees into the country in fiscal year 2022. Last year, the administration allowed just more than 11,400. There's a system you have to go through. And just coming to the United States doesn't guarantee that you'll stay because there's a large percentage of people who don't get granted status when they ask for asylum and they do get deported. Goldman knows the road to asylum can be long. Just another challenge these individuals making this difficult transition to a new way of life have to navigate. You're taking individuals and expecting them to understand a pretty complex system. And it's a system that doesn't usually work in a perfect way. There's always these hurdles that come into play. Goldman says yet another hurdle, the growing backlog of asylum cases. He says he recently started working with an asylum seeker here now in southern Arizona from the Congo. Goldman says this man first applied for asylum in the United States in 2015. This man still hasn't had his interview. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.